in a group. I don't know, but they don't look like a bad bunch. Hey, baby, here it comes. How you feel, buddy? Hey, baby, here it comes. Huh? Having a good birthday, babe? Huh? Here it is. Yes, there it is. Here it is. Here it is. Will you look at the roses, huh? We got the roses just for you because it looks like you. And the candle is all for you. <laughs> guys are on your minds. Hey, but... well, listen, that's that's for you because we like you. Only one candle. How old are you? Never mind. Don't you like it, buddy? Happy birthday. Thank you, guys. Sing happy birthday. I'll knock your heads off. Oh, come on. Are you sure, Gunny? Look, I have an excellent baritone. I could be worse. I could be spending your birthday in Sing Sing. Yeah, it's not this birthday I'm worried about. It's living through to see the next one. Oh, come on now. Don't start feeling that way. Oh, me. come on. Blow it. Come on. It's your turn. It's your day. Come on. Oh, come on. Blow the candy. You're going to make a wish. Ah! <laughs> Sorry to break up this little celebration. See what I mean about celebrating my next birthday? Hey, come on. Now, what's the big rush? We're having a party here. In two days, the Allies are mounting an offensive in Italy. A resistance leader, Emilio Frazzini, has been captured by the Germans. And he knows all about the Allied push, huh? Exactly. We've got to find out whether or not he's talked. If he has, the offensive has got to be called off. If he hasn't, we've got to get him out so we can coordinate resistance movements with the Allied push. What if he hasn't talked? And we can't put the snatch on him. And we got to make sure that he doesn't. Let's hope he doesn't come to that. What is he being held? I don't know. We'll find out when we make our contact near San Romeo. Happy birthday. That's the signal. Let's go. Hold on a minute, Warden. What's the matter? Is this man supposed to be alone? Why? Well, there's more than one of them out there. There's six, maybe seven. You can tell that from here? They could be parted. Spread out mighty wide. Right, Chief Gunner. Stay here. Leonardo, why are they holding the agent? Go, go to uh, 
Dr. Maletti in San Romeo. He is expecting an SS lieutenant. All right. Tell him Leonardo sent you. My cabin is a mile north of here. Go there. You will be safe. SS doesn't come in your size, Warden. There he is. Dr. Vitzi yet say. I'm certain you will be able to take care of your problem. 
put in these lenses. And as I adjust them, you tell me when you begin to see clearly. Now, you look through them. There. I will adjust them into focus. When you see better, you let me know. Ah, uh, yes, Doctor. Better? That's much better. You must see perfectly. Yes, I can see perfectly. Good. Then everything is set. The glasses will be ready for you this afternoon at one o'clock. Is that convenient? At one o'clock? Excellent. Thank you for waiting. The Germans are moving Fazzini to a maximum security prison this afternoon at one o'clock. Yeah, this is the route they'll be taking. We are going to hit them. But we're going to have a lot of help. From whom? We're expecting at least half a dozen Italian fanatics to fight for us. Six fanatic Italians. And actually, this time, you can overact all you want. Thank you very much. Okay, Chief. Time for the purple heart.
not talk. But the Germans are very thorough in their interrogation. I think it would only have been a matter of time. Yeah. Looks like they really worked you over. Yes. As I said, they are very thorough. The Germans believe every man has his weakness. Sooner or later, they would have found mine. However, that's all over now. The offensive. It is a steel on. Yeah. You have still to coordinate the resistance movements with the attack. Thank you. Thank you. Do you need any help to get back to your people? No. And then, uh, good luck. Thank you. What's wrong? I am not Emilio Frazzini. Sir. Decoy? Yes. You're working for the Krauts? No, no. The Germans only used me because I look like your agent. They're holding my wife and son. They said if I did not carry out their plan, they would execute them. What about the real Frazzini? You know where he is? I do not know. He is a very important. Yeah. You might say that. What, what made you spill? Just that I could not go through with it. I'm not a member of the resistance, but I'm not a fascist either. I know what they are doing is wrong. Gordon, how do you know he's on the level? It's the truth. I swear it. You know, the partisans tried to capture Frazzini. Yeah, I know. The Germans were afraid something like this would happen again. And they knew, if you believe me, that I was Frazzini, you would release me. If I do not return, they will execute my family. All right. You can go, Brian. Right. Tell them we believed you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I wish you luck. Well, we're a first-class bunch of suckers, aren't we? No. The Germans are playing it smart. Yeah. And we're running out of time. The push starts in less than 36 hours. I don't know where Fazzini is. Or whether he's talked or not. What do we do now? I think I'd better go have my eyes checked again. They have been fooled. I know the Germans could have the real Razzini miles away. Yeah. Or maybe not. If the Germans think we believe their decoy. Is there any way you can find out whether he's still being held at the hospital? I can try. But what if he isn't there? What if the Germans have been able to move him? To find out where might take days. What are you going to do with them? I don't know. So, why don't the Allies just play it safe and call off the attack? Because months of planning and organization has gone into it. But they'd kind of like to see it work. Yeah, well, it's going to take nothing short of a miracle to help now. Do they know where he is? Are you kidding? Take a look at his face. No, he wasn't in the hospital. Well, now, that makes it simple, doesn't it? Could be anywhere between here and Berlin. Yeah. I guess we bombed out, I wouldn't. What are we going to do? Well, there is one man who could tell us whether Franzini has talked or not. Who's that? Field Marshal Hauser. I don't think we ever met. 
He's a German commander who our forces will face in the offensive. He's taken a headquarters in a villa right near here. Oh, listen, it should be a snap to get in there, right? Yeah, just like breaking into the bank of England. Oh, come on, what are we? I'm not going to try and kidnap a German field marshal. Maybe we don't need to put this net, Johnny. Got it. We're just going to go right up and ask him. Actor, what we need is a con, but a big one. If we could convince the field marshal that the offensive has already begun, it might tell us whether Franzini has already talked or not. That is a big one, but interesting and challenging. Warden, you need some other form of recreation. Don't you have a hobby? <laughs> oh, like, you know, chasing butterflies or putting boats in bottles? This communications truck. Got everything we need? Yeah, just a vibe. with the radio station. A record? Well, what's wrong with a record store? Oh, never mind. Let's go.
How's it looking, Javilla? Not bad. There's a fence around the back where the phone wires run. We should be able to get over it. Good. like the selection. Yeah, that ought to do it. All right, now we split up into groups. Everyone gets into their uniform. Actor, you and Ghana from the teletype machine. Now, you got to send that message at exactly 501. Got it? Check. The casino, you and Chief make the connection at the power box. Mm -hmm. Then, Chief, you're on guard. I've got to find the frequency of the field marshal's wireless. We don't have much time, so let's get to it. I still don't see how this is going to tell us whether that agent talked or not. I can tell by the way he deploys his troops. If he buys his phony offensive, he's going to start moving his troops. Now look, if he moves them from here, then Fatsini's talked. If he moves them from anywhere else, he has it. I see. All right, what if he has talked? We notify intelligence and call off the offensive. I got to set that up. Uh, when it works, anytime you want to call the field marshal, just pick up that telephone and do it. Any calls coming out of the villa, you'll be able to listen on this one. Here. Good. We'll start in 10 minutes. You got the right frequency? Yeah. I'm getting tired of changing uniforms. I hate second-hand clothes. They never fit. So we get in the building. Then what? We're going to empty it first. Right. Call lunch? Simply going to tell him that we believe the building has been sabotaged. Oh, the live bomb routine. That's it. Okay, that's it. Anytime you want to listen.
Machen Sie immer noch hier. Haben Sie nicht gehört? Sie müssen evakuieren. Sofort. so we can't talk to the actual front, right? Field Marshal a headache. And what do you tell him? That we've just broken through on both flanks. Come on. The Melden zeigen, dass die Amerikaner durchgebrochen sind. Der Sicherheitsdienst meldet, wir sind umzingelt.
We're going to tell the field marshal we need reinforcements from the front. Wie lange können Sie die Stellung halten? Wir brauchen Erdsatz, so schnell wie möglich. Ich schicke Ihnen Verstärkung. Sofort. Wie lange wir denn? Here you go, he's calling out. Excellent, the for window. Werfen Sie die 15. Panzerdivision sofort in den Abschnitt H. Ja, ja, das ist ein Befehl. Sofort. What did he say? He barked. He's moving his division to meet our phony attack. Are they coming from the direction that the real offensive will be? Fratzini didn't talk. All right, here you go. What's wrong? They've got him at the villa. Fratzini? Yeah. The field marshal just told his intelligence headquarters that he's moving up to the front. Fratzini's to be held at the villa. They're stepping up the interrogation. So if they bought our phony invasion, what good is he going to do them if he talks? Plenty. You know, those troop movements, resistance activities, what bridges are going to be blown? A lot. And if he does talk, it'll be about the real offensive. So we're right back where we started from, right? No, we're not. We know the Frazzini didn't talk, and we know where he is. So, uh, we've got to join him and get him out, right? Right. How? Well, now, look, it's just a matter of time before the Germans find out that our attack was a phony, right? Well, why don't we use it to our advantage and expose it ourselves? And blame them for being stupid enough to fall for it. Bill Marshall just took off. Did it work? Yeah, it worked. And guess who's in the villa? Who's in? And uh, guess who's going to join him in the villa? The judge that we are. That's right. Our win is SS. We'll blow the con. We'll tell them they were played for suckers, the offensive is a phony, and that we're going to take over the interrogation of their prisoner. Just as simple as that, huh? Frazzini's almost on home base already. Are you enjoying your birthday, Ganif? I doubt very much whether I could have held out as long as you have. But we both know that there is an end to your bravery somewhere, just as there is an end to my patience. The offensive has already started. I want to know the roads the Americans will take, the timetable of the offensive. I want to know! We are completely aware that the offensive is false. That is correct. You've been duped. There is no offensive. The resistance has made you believe an attack that has never taken place. You are incompetent and inefficient. You are relieved of command pending an investigation by the SS. 
We are taking over the prisoner's interrogation, which up to now has been also bungled. I suggest, Major, that you try and contact the field marshal and inform him of what has happened. Otherwise, he will look as big a fool as you. Aber Major. Muss ich Ihnen ein Befehl geben? Wohin nehmen Sie ihn? SS Hauptquartier. Happy birthday, dear Garnet. Happy birthday. 